Pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God, help us to turn our ear to you, listen to you, and understand your mercy that you provide for us this day. Lord, we turn our eyes to you because we know you share with us your grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Each day we come before you knowing that you provide for us the goodness. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Strive this day to be better than we were yesterday. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. O oh God, who calls the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you commend, desire what you promise, and amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, you recall, brothers and sisters, our toil and drudgery, working night and day in order not to burden any of you. We proclaim to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and so is God, how devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behave toward you believers. As you know, we treated each one of you as a father treats his children exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his kingdom and glory. And for this reason, we too give thanks to God unceasingly <coughs> that in receiving the word of God from hearing us, you received it not as the word of men, but as it truly is the word of God, which is now at work in you who believe the word of God. Thanks be God. Responsorial song, you have searched me and you know me, Lord. You, you have, have searched me and you know me, Lord. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sing to the netherworld, you are present there. Yes. You have searched me and you know me, Lord. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. If I say, surely the darkness shall hide me, and night shall be my light, for you darkness itself is not dark, and night shines as the day. You have searched me, and you know me, Lord. <coughs> Oh, 
According to Matthew. According to you, Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, where appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead man's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, the outside you appear as righteous, but the inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, who build the tombs of the prophets and adore the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if you live in the days of our ancestors, you would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that your children are those who murder the prophets and are filled up with the ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. An opportunity <laughs> last night to go to a local golf course and have a caddy program there. There is a particular scholarship fund established many years ago, and several of their caddies who are teenagers have received scholarships, full scholarships, to go on to college. And what was impressive is not be, um, about the scholarship, but about these young people. You know, I think we get in our sense, in our minds, that these young people, there's just so many bad young people these days. And I got there last night, and I saw these two sisters, and they were just so wonderful. You know, they were so appreciative, and they work hard. Caddy and it's not an easy job, especially if you get to fall many times all over the golf course. It's not easy. I was really encouraged by them. And you know, it's not just them, but how do we live our lives? I think Jesus said in the gospel they've had hypocrites. I mean, what we look like or what we display as physical appearance or how we are, but how do we display the encouragement that Christ encourages us each day? You know, do we go through the day this drab, blah, 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 or are we going to go through each day, this day, thinking, you know what? I am very lucky, I'm very happy that God has given me this life to do the things that I'm able to do. I mean, that's what these young people were. And I just think that's what we have to be more and more of. And we can say the world, well, you know what? The only way we change the world is change ourselves first and be encouraged and encourage others. You know, worry, um, sometimes we get a little bit stark about really encouraging the people. But that's where it begins. And this thing, that's what the Lord talks about in these scripture passages today. He did a very good job of encouraging those around him. And in the same sense, he expected that from them to do for each other. Okay. <coughs> so let us share our prayers before the Lord. That the church throughout the world may be blessed with a spirit of humility before the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may be granted wisdom and courage by the Holy Spirit as they formulate laws and policies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That anyone suffering because of poor health or chronic pain may feel the healing touch of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may be called by God into his kingdom and glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For Herbert Trentler, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all of the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Amen.
bless the Lord God of all creation for your goodness. We have this bread to offer with your this given. Human hands have made me come for us as the bread of life. Let's be God forever. Bless the Lord God of all creation for your goodness. We have this wine to offer. For the divine work of human hands we come for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that the gifts we have, bread and wine, the gift of our life, may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name for our good and for God's church. O oh Lord, guide it and gain for you, your holy people, that through one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in the church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just. It is our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, eternal God. For though you have no need of our praise, that our thanksgiving in itself is your gift. Since our praise has nothing to your greatness, but profits us for salvation. And now with all the choirs, the angels, the saints, we share the glory of the Lord. As we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. You are holy indeed, O Lord, you are the font of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, becoming for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ time he was betrayed, entering willingly into his passion. He took bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Supper ended. He took a chalice, once more giving thanks, handed it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We pray humbly that partaking of the body and blood of your Son, we may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity. For Francis, our Pope, and William, our Archbishop, and all your people. Remember our family and friends who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, bless Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We merit to be co-heirs to eternal life as we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, <clears throat> Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done. Come. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, free us from sin, safe from distress, we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity in your kingdom, for we live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Simply we share the peace of Christ. Peace with you. Peace with you. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof. When I say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. in us, O Lord, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that all things we may please you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessings of the Lord be with you this day, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day, everyone. You too. Follow Sam. <laughs>